Hello, it's Ms. Cynthia from the library at Santa Rosa Charter School for the Arts. This video explains how you can create your own account in our school library catalog, a skill that is especially important while we shelter remotely, and even more so because the school year has ended and many of you weren't able to get back onto campus to turn in your library books. By creating your own account, you'll be able to look up what books, if any, are checked out to you. And unless they've been marked lost, you'll be able to renew those books, even if you can't come into the school library. You can access our catalog from anywhere by computer at any time. First step is to navigate to the catalog's URL. Santa Rosa City dot fall at destiny dot com forward slash. That's Santa Rosa City dot fall at destiny dot com forward slash. You'll arrive at a page that lists all of the sites among Santa Rosa City Schools. In the right hand column under Charter and Alternative Schools, find and click on Santa Rosa Charter School for the Arts. You've arrived now at our school's catalog page. Look for and click in the upper right corner where it says Create Account. You'll be prompted to input your last name and your student barcode. Your student barcode is your six digit Santa Rosa City Schools ID. Hopefully many of you have already used this number to access resources through the public library with the Student One Card program. Ask for help from your parent or guardian if you don't know your student ID number. Once you've input your last name and barcode, hit the Next button just below. You should now be matched with the patron record that's set up for you in our catalog. Select a username and password. Please also include an email address in case the library needs to contact you. Input these things and hit save. Now the next time you visit the school library catalog, look for the login button that's also in the upper right corner. Input your username and password and click Login. You'll know that you've logged in when you view the catalog page because the name of the account holder will be displayed in the upper right corner. This screen image is from an account that is named Read Aloud. Now over here to the left, see where it says Catalog just below the name of our school? Look for the tab just next to it where it says My Info. Clicking the My Info tab will show you the books that are currently checked out to you. This account has one book currently checked out, and along with its title are the book's call number, its price, and under Checked Out, its due date. Next to that is a button that will let the account holder renew this book. The My Info page will also show you any resources that are checked out to you, things like textbooks or musical instruments. If you owe the library any fines, they'll show up as well. And you can also see a list of any holds that you've placed on items in our library. This account holder has two items on hold. One is ready and one is pending. Okay, everybody, that's it for this video. I encourage you to try creating an account for yourself in our library catalog. Be sure to use the My Info tab to renew any books that you have out. Keep checking my videos because this is the first in what I intend to be a series about using our library catalog. In the next video, I will talk about searching the catalog for Santa Rosa 
charter school for the arts.